They always sell out. Everybody loves our strawberries. Hands down a little bit lower. We have 15 departments. We have 30 undergraduate majors, and we have 30 graduate fields that relate to our college. And so when you put all that together, you have an enormous amount of diversity of research, outreach, extension, and teaching that's going on. In very few years, they say around 2050, we are going to be almost 10 billion people. You have to generate enough food to feed an extra 2.5 billion people. The goal is to generate plants that can grow better under very bad conditions and with less water. Sometimes, as they say, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words, so these maps tell stories. And there's, there's a lot there. We talk about putting social equity in the center of what we do. It's not enough just to define the problems. We really want to show um, what can be done with the research to, in fact, improve conditions in those communities. What is this? The Sustainable Agriculture and Food Systems major is incredibly unique as a pioneering program in the country and really the world. You really have the opportunity to take classes in totally different departments and to be able to use all of these different perspectives to have a much better understanding of the complex problems that we aim to address. The brewing science program is so unique because we get to be in this pilot brewing, working on the systems, making our own recipes, really getting into the nitty gritty of it. Beer is not about throwing ping pong balls at it. Uh, beer is about uh, a lot of science coming together, uh, mingling with tradition and uh, social imperatives to actually come together uh, to allow people to enjoy um, what is the world's favorite adult beverage. It's not just about nutrition, it's also about protection. So human milk has some molecules that are promoting the growth of good bacteria in the intestine and fighting off and starving the bad bacteria. So you use chemistry to look into milk and start taking it apart into every single component to find out which one is the one that's really protective and how can we replicate that. There's this kind of balance between the environmental sciences and the human sciences here within the college. Landscape architecture is an amazing bridge between the two because we design places, environments, for people. So we're that bridge between environmental and human sciences in a lot of cases. Essentially anywhere that people are impacting change in our built environment for the benefit of people or plants or animals or you know the environment, our students can be at the forefront of that process. So the expertise that we gain here at UC Davis allows undergrads to have that opportunity to make change and to be involved in something that's actually going to better the future. There are a lot of opportunities for undergrads to get involved, to be on the field, and do something that they're interested in because UC Davis is so focused on their research, they allow students to be a part of that as well. We have students in Guatemala, we have them in, uh, in Chile, we have them in um, Colombia, we have them in Africa. Our college, the expertise, the capacity that we have is world ranked in agriculture, in nutrition and food. So all of that expertise and, and capacity that we have, you know, needs to be coordinated so that we can then take that and use it in, in other places. Being the land grant institution for California, we have that obligation. We have a mandate. Extension specialists are faculty who specialize in taking research that's done on the university campus, putting it out into the real world and making sure that it's being used. When it comes to the environment, this is where things happen first. So it's really a way of bringing the research alive and getting a chance to see it actually used in the real world. The activity is 2.8 decimals per meter. Human development students had opportunity to do their internship in various uh, settings, and including the early childhood lab school. Yeah, you have a lot of sponges, huh? So these 
kind of experience, hands-on experience is very, very important. We look at how genetics and environmental factors both contribute to human development. You need a place like this university that attracts the best faculty, the best students, and really you put the best staff in there and you start coming out with answers on the other side. Absolutely, UC Davis, <laughs> hands down. <laughs>